Say cheese. So for today we have the Samsung MV800 with a multi-view feature. Easy flop flip around. Hello again and uh, we have here the Samsung MV800. It's a multi-view camera from Samsung as you can see. As soon as you flip over the screen um, it will automatically uh, adjust and you can see yourself and take perfect self-portrait shots. So the Samsung MV800 has been around for quite some time now and has been the camera that later sparked the now the famously known Samsung Galaxy camera which is running an Android operating system. Uh, the Samsung MV800 was the first touchscreen camera to produce by the Korean company and it's, it's a multi-view camera as I shown earlier on. It's got a touchscreen here that you can uh, just swipe around through different menus and you can check out the different apps as Samsung calls it. In terms of uh, design, it comes in a sleek sleek body. It's sturdy and nice to hold in, in my palm. Uh, it feels solid and can easily hold in an average human hand. The sleek body is painted with an executive black finish. Additionally, the Samsung MV800 is one of the slimmest design digital cameras on the market at 18.8 millimeters in thickness and only weighs at 121 grams. That's without the battery, of course. On another note, when one flips the 180 degree screen to take a self shot, there is a dedicated shutter button here, perfect for you. In terms of performance, the Samsung MV800 powers up in a few seconds. However, the well-crafted uh, Schneider lens instantly pops up in less than a split second. So I'll demonstrate it here. So turn it on, boom, it's already out. But the screen is still loading. The Schneider lens is a 5x optical zoom lens with an aperture of 3.3 on the wide side and up to f.5.9 on the telephoto side. The image sensor of the MV800 can capture up to 16.1 megapixels. The camera also boasts digital stabilization and optical stabilization with a dedicated app called Dual IS. Video recording on the MV800 is fair at a resolution of 720p. It basically gets the job done effectively. Surprisingly, I'm impressed by how it handles videos in low light conditions. On the other hand, image quality on the Samsung MV800 is fair for general usage. So don't expect to produce breathtaking shots or DSLR quality like shots. The MV800 was intended for the average consumer and not for prosumers. So I'm pretty disappointed with the battery as it has only a capacity of 700 milliampers, which definitely won't last long. In terms of the user experience, as I said early on, it's a touchscreen uh, camera. There's several apps here. There's Smart Auto Program, Smart Movie, Movie. You can have live panorama shots, uh, 3D photos. You can have the usual scene, whether it's landscape or night. And there's some also the def default apps here provided by Samsung. So if you say click when getting, you can play around with these. And the weirdest app I've seen so far is the pose guide. Check this out. There's a silhouette of a, not really a silhouette, but a superimposed guide of a woman. <laughs> Strangely enough, the camera doesn't include um, a typical SD card. It includes a micro SD seen over here. Here's the battery. And I don't understand why Samsung decided to go for that standard for storage. So a brief wrap up. The Samsung MV800 is perfect for those who travel alone and love taking self-portrait shots, aka vein shots. Additionally, this might be a vlogger's best tool as you'll be able to compose a shot a lot better thanks to the multi-view angle screen over here. Video quality is fine at 720p, while image quality is good enough for general usage traveling, parties, and documenting events. The Samsung MV800 is suitable for all occasions. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Most of all, comment in the comment section below. 
and thanks for watching again.